be up potting some tomato plants today and I don't have any uh, three inch pots or anything but I found these in my building that they were given to me by a local greenhouse that they were just going to be thrown away um, and so they're like they are like what three inch pots would sit in but I think that it's going to work just the same. So I ended up doing kind of an accidental experiment. In this, I did soil blocks, right? And these were so the same day that these were. But look at the size difference. These are so much smaller. This is in one of those um, just seed cell trays. Got this for free too. But look how much bigger these are in the soil blocks because they have more room for the roots. And these are the peppers that I did, so I'm wondering how big my peppers would be by now if I would have did them in the soil box instead of these cell trees. So here I've got my tomato plants. They're all labeled in their little rows in their little soil box. And I'm gonna have to separate them and put them in some bigger pods. See, these are big. And, we're putting them in potting soil because this seed starting mix doesn't have any nutrition for the plant. It's, it's pretty much just sterile. And it's just a medium to get your seed germinated. And your seed has enough food for the plant until it gets its first leaves and then you have to up pot. So that's what we're doing today. Now with tomatoes, you can plant them deeper than the root. I mean, you could plant all the way up to these leaves, which a lot of people do. It helps, it can help make the plant stronger by, um, it turns these little tiny hairs on the plant into roots. So I'm just very gently teasing the plants apart. I don't want to damage them too much. Tomato plants can take a little bit of abuse, but you still want to be gentle because all plants go into shock after you, after you transplant them. But you don't want to shock them too much. Now over here in my tray, I have a bunch of different varieties, but I've got them labeled by row, so I'm just trying to be mindful that I don't get the varieties mixed up, just so I can stay a little bit organized. So I got most of my tomato plants up potted. I say up potted. They're not in any like more of a deeper container, 
but they do have more room per plant and they are in actual potting soil instead of seed starting mix. It also looks like I may have gotten a little bit of a sunburn too. <laughs> I didn't have enough soil to up pot all of my tomato plants and I haven't I didn't get started on my peppers so that's going to be next on my list of things to do but as you can see a decent amount here and I brought them in so that they would perk back up and I obviously don't have enough indoor grow lights or indoor light to sustain them in here every day so I'm gonna have to be lugging them outside every day until it's warm enough to leave them outside in the greenhouse at nighttime. These are the ones that I didn't get to up pot and then of course here's my peppers. So even though I didn't have the right kind of containers to up pot to, I'm using one I got. It was free. And I think that this is what it's all about, is um, recycling and using what you got. And I'll keep you updated on how these do. I think that they're perking up. And when I first transplanted them, they looked awful. I mean, they like completely drooped over. But now they're perking back up and they look pretty good. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning into my quick little video and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed sharing it I'm super excited for springtime for summertime and to taste these wonderful tomatoes and so thanks for joining me on my journey and let's let's grow some tomatoes together